Hi everyone, my name is Jensen Casey and I'm owner of Baby O and I Consulting and today we are going to talk about the hatch light. Um, so I'm so excited to talk about this because we personally use it for our son's room and it's amazing. I know a lot of families have asked me about what I would recommend and if you have a child that sleeps in a bed and is an early riser, um, this is definitely something that I would look into because it is so helpful for them to know exactly when they can get up. So let me back up for a second. The hatch light is a light um, that is programmable, so it can do a couple of different things. It has some really cool functions. It has a sound machine component of it where you can set what sound you want. So there's like a TV static noise. Um, there's like other pink noise, which isn't like the kind of traditional white noise, um, like rain sounds or animals, things like that. And then it also has a light feature where you can choose what color you want the light to be, and then you can change the light as you want. So it comes with an app, and um, you just download it to your phone, and you're able to change the sound and the light whenever you want. You can also program things in so it automatically comes up. So for example, we have our bedtime programmed in. So at 7.15 each night, the light automatically comes on and it's set to red. And then it's automatically set to go to green at 7.30 every morning. So it's like a set it and forget it. I don't have to worry about it. I also have it programmed for naps. So every day at nap time, the sound machine just automatically comes on. And it's a really nice cue for my uh, three-year-old just to know, okay, the light is on. That means that it's time to go for a nap. And it's it's very concrete. He knows exactly what to listen out for. And it kind of takes the pressure off of you as parents where it's not like you're telling them to go to bed. Like you're constantly having to remind them it's okay in this many minutes. Your light is going to turn on. Your sound machine is going to turn on. So they just have that very concrete example of every time this happens, this is like this will be the reaction to it. Um it's also really great for those early mornings when your child is asking, when can I get up? When can I leave my room? When can I come to your room? Um, this just gives you a very, again, a concrete example of like when this light changes, that means that you're welcome to come and get out of your bed. So we have it set for red overnight and then green in the morning. So I know as soon as that light turns green, I hear the little footsteps, they start thumping around, then they get up and leave their room. It's made it really nice for me. Um, I can choose to change that. So some mornings we may have to be up earlier um, or maybe they're doing really well and still sleeping after a late night and we switch the clock to later. Because it's an app through your phone, it's all done virtually. So I don't have to physically go in there and adjust anything. I can just do it from my phone and they don't even know. Um, another really nice thing is that it's able to be moved. It does need Wi-Fi, so that can get a little tricky if you're in a place that doesn't have great Wi-Fi. Um, I know personally the one setback I found is that um, it, I have to be in a certain location in our house to be able to connect to that um, to that light, where if you had multiple lights, you could put them all on the same app. But I know I have to be in like a certain range within our house to be able to connect to it. So that's really the only downside I found. But honestly, it has so many positives and it's done so amazing for us that I can't even complain about that one little fact. Um, so if you have a child that is waking up early in the morning, this is really for children that are in bed. So I would recommend the use of a hatch light for bedtime and for early morning um, strategies to really be used for ages two and a half and up. And it's a great feature of nightlight to have um, in the newborn days or like the younger baby days because you can set the, how bright the light is as well. So if you know you're going to be going in and doing night feedings, it's really nice to be able to have that sound machine function all the way um, on and be able to adjust the light as needed. So if you're doing those feedings and you can turn it up a little bit, and then once you put baby back down, you can turn it down, or you can always have it set to a really light, soft setting. Um, that's just another added feature. So it's not that it's not helpful until those, you know, young preschool toddler ages, but it's just um, that you can really, really get more into the features of it if you have an older child. But starting it from the very beginning, always having, if you want to have like a red and uh, red and green or any kind of um, like symbol 
for night and morning, you can start that as early as you want. They're not really going to be able to internalize it and use it for a lot until a lot later, but to have that foundation and just always have that expectation, that's going to do you really well in the long run. So if you have any questions about the Hatchlight, how to use it, how to maximize your early mornings using the Hatchlight, definitely pop them in the comments below.